This is Jamie from Code Orange, and this is Hales from the Crypt. How the hell are you doing? I am here with Jamie of Code Orange. What is going on, Jamie? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. I'm even better now that you're up here. I've been listening to the new album forever nonstop. As the drummer of this album, you're doing vocal duties. You're, write, you're writing lyrics, right? And you're, yeah. you write the songs as well? Yeah. Oh, we all write the songs, but Everybody. I write the lyrics. We, uh, we'll we start with different ideas. A lot of times the ideas either come from drums or some of the sample stuff we do, the com you know computer and synth stuff, uh, and we build from there. So That's cool. And you guys have been on tour right now with uh, Youth Code, and you've been killing it out there. The shows have been absolutely crazy. I see pictures. You guys are uh, on Instagram with blood all over the floor oh, no. and just insanity all over the it's place. It's our blood. And, okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. However, I mean, I'm, I won't harp on this too much. There is something. Some chick ended up getting kicked in the face, uh, blood all over the place. But you guys are such a stand-up band. You even shared yeah, the, hate that. the link to uh, get her, her crowdfunding of course. stuff. Of to, course, because that shit shouldn't be happening in shows. I agree. But it's understandable that it does, especially at a crazy hardcore show. That kind of shit happens all of the time, and it's very understandable. It sucks that it happens. Totally. But Horrible. I mean, yeah, that's that's something that you. I think she's gonna be okay though. I mean, yes. we've talked to her a lot, and I think she'll be fine. I should probably get free code R and shows for life. I'm sure. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, 100. But you guys are a stand up band. You put on amazing shows. I'm actually very excited to check you out here in New York City. Rolling Stone named you one of the top 10 artists to check out. How does it feel being like but such a prestiged magazine to, to be named something like one of the top 10 bands to keep your eye on? You know what? It's great. I mean, I'm happy that these people are starting to notice us and stuff. It's something I've I've always felt in my heart what happened because I believe in what we're doing. And I think if you believe in what you're doing, then the second all the rest of it comes. So, I mean, whether it's it's an honor, obviously, whether they are, they aren't, though. We're going to be doing our thing no matter what. Exactly. The word from Rolling Stone essentially means nothing, but it's just good to well, have it. We really do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no, but, absolutely. You, know, you got to believe in what you're doing. You can't, you can't be so reliant on what other people think, which is what it seems like a lot of people do now, you know? Hell yeah. And you actually, do you have a, an, another side band aside from Code Orange? We have. I, we're kind of putting everything on a chill. Yeah. And we are very, we've always been laser focused on this. We're laser focused on the goal right now, so... I don't see us doing anything else for a good while. Yeah, it's all about Code Orange for right yep. now. Well, I did check out the other band, Adventures, right? Yeah. And I did I did dig it. It's got, got, got like an indie rock thing, and I was feeling it a lot. And you know, that's that's a band that we play in, and it's fun to yeah. us. Uh, this band is is who we are. Of course, so of course. That's a band. To me, this isn't a band. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, I mean, obviously it's a band. Of course. But it, to me, this is, this is who we are. This is who we've grown up as, and this is what we work the hardest on and focus the most on, so... You know, there's not really time for all that other fun stuff right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, definitely pick up the brand new Code Orange album forever. It is out now. What is next for the world of Code Orange? What do you guys got going on after this tour? We're going to go to these big shows and we're going to go get those fans. That's really what it comes down to. We're doing our shows right now and it's great. And now we got to go get those fans, and I'm confident that we'll be able to do that. Snatching them up. We want to give out the socials, give out the plugs, so everybody on Liquid Metal can check you guys out. Yeah, um, our Twitter is at Code Orange Kids, uh, Instagram at Code Orange T O T H, and uh, Facebook just search Code Orange. But yeah, now I'm gonna make myself look like an idiot. I have been wondering yeah. about it. What is T O T H? Uh, thinners of the herd. Ah, see, that's funny. <laughs> It's just like a phrase. I man. wanted to start a band called Thin the Herd. Well, that is late. incredible. <laughs> it better be a cover band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there already a band called Thin the Herd? That's hard. That's so. that's all right. Gotcha. I'm gotcha. Fine. I'm, I'm going to have to pay uh, uh, Code Orange some royalties. <laughs> There's nobody I would rather pay royalties more than Code Orange. Pick up the brand new album forever out now on Roadrunner Records. I want to get into this track real. I love it when yeah. you guys are just because it kind of it doesn't start out with the aggression that forever and kill the creator start out with. It kind of has a light feel to it. But then when you guys break into that part where you guys just start smashing shit, I love it. So here it is. This is real now. Motherfucker. I love it. Is that you who screams that? Oh, it's me. Hell yeah. Shout out to Jamie. Shout out to Code Orange. Shout out to Phil Queso. Roadrunner Records, the new album forever out now. This is real.